guess what? You're going to become a publisher who gets paid. Pretty cool. In this video, what I will do is I will walk you through three simple steps to create a journal on Amazon KDP for free so that you can get some extra money in on the side. And let me tell you, there's no better feeling than holding your own product in your hands and checking your Amazon reports, seeing that someone bought your product while you were asleep. That's the true power of passive income. So let's create you your first journal on Amazon KDP. At the end of the video, I also reveal some secrets that most people using KDP don't even know about that will actually help you double your income with the journals you publish. You really wanna make sure that you don't miss that. Let's kick things off. There are three easy steps to get your book published so that you can hold yours in your hand very soon. Number one, create your cover using Canva. Number two, download the interior for your journal in the description below. And number three, publish on Amazon KDP in less than 10 minutes. Let's start with creating your own KDP cover template with Canva. But before we go to camera, let's go to kdp.amazon.com slash cover minus calculator. I make sure to also put the link down in the description below. And what we want to do is we want to just make sure that the trim sizes are okay. And Amazon already has a calculator for you. So all you have to do is really just fill out this information. So we're going to select a paperback. We're going to select in terms of the interior type, black and white. Next up is paper type. We're going to select white paper and this is really key. I mean, you can change this, but if you do premium color or center color, it's just going to be more expensive and you're going to have less of a royalty. So less income for you. If you want to maximize your profits, keep it at black and white and white paper. Page turn direction. This is going to be left to right and then the measurement units. So this is going to be inches. And then we have the interior trim size. So this is going to be the six by nine. This is like the most common one. We're going to select that here too. And we set the page count is going to be 150 pages. We're going to calculate the dimensions. And you can see here, this is exactly what our cover will look like. And what we're going to do is we're just going to download the template. And that's it. Next up, we go to canva.com. And if you don't have an account, you can sign up. It's for free. What we're going to do is in the search bar, we just go for book cover. See, I already have that here. Once you go to book cover templates, you actually create a net new blank template. And then now the big piece is we really want to make sure that we resize it. And one of the things that I noticed is you see like a little crown here. So that means they changed it to a pro version, meaning it's the paid version where you can resize it. But if you're new to Canva, you can always just create just a free trial or do like a month by month and then just cancel. Okay, so make sure to click on resize. And then the most important thing first is you change this to inches. And now we need to figure out what the width and the height is. And that's where we go back into the template that we just downloaded that you can see here. So the dimensions are 12.588. I'm going to put this here in the width and then the height is 9.250. Perfect. This is it. We're going to click on copy and resize. And here we have our blank canvas. Now, what we want to do is we want to go to uploads and I already uploaded this, but just upload the template that we downloaded for the cover, upload it as a JPEG. I think they have a PDF or JPEG. Just make sure that it's a JPEG and then you just literally drag and drop it in here. Make sure to resize it properly. So what's really important is you have the front cover, you have the back cover and you have the spine. Whatever you design here, it's very important that you stay within the white space because the red space is literally where Amazon then is going to cut your book. And you really want to make sure that you don't have any content there. The question really becomes is what you want to do. You can you have a few different options here. So what you can do, for instance, is you go to elements and you drag and drop, for instance, just a rectangular here. And that rectangular, you can just move up here, resize here. And you know, now you kind of like don't know whatever you put in here is actually going to be within that space. So then you click on this little three dotted button here 
and click on transparency. And you can see when you scale it down that you can see through that rectangular that we just dragged in. I will keep it at 83 just so that you see a little bit better where you can really place elements. And one of the things that's really important is you need to have a title on either the front cover or on the spine. Otherwise, Amazon's not going to publish your book. In this example, you know, let's do the following. You can just place this title here. And I had, for instance, side hustle planner. And what I did is I literally drag this and I didn't want to make sure it's 90 degrees. Perfect. I didn't want to have it on the cover. So I literally just put it in here. Um, when you zoom in, you can kind of like make sure that it's literally in the middle of the spine. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. And I think this looks good. Okay, perfect. Now, what you can do is to keep it very simple is you can, for instance, have another headline and you have kind of like something motivating that you want to put in here. So for instance, I have never forget how wildly capable you are. And then you can make it smaller. And then you can again, um, rotate it whoop, to 90 degrees and place it right here, making sure it's in the middle. And one of the things that's really important is, for instance, I want to make this actually white. So you can just go in here, change the font color. So I'm just going to change this to white. I'm going to do the same thing with this here. And literally, that's all you need to do. You can also change the font. I, I might not like the font, so maybe we can have something. Maybe something like this. So let's do, let's do Afra. Okay, perfect. And so what I'm going to do next then is, before I uh, export it, I would just dial up the transparency again. And this is it. This will be my cover. So what I would do is I would just click on share and then I would download it and I would want to make sure, and this is really key to have it PDF print, right? This is best for printing. That's what you want to have. And then also make sure to change a color profile to best for professional printing. And then you just download it. And then literally this was it. Now we have a recover. Step two is actually to get the interior. And as I mentioned, I already did the work for you. So I have three different interiors for you that you can choose from that are completely free that you can download. So I will make sure to put the link down in the description below. You can see here, this is uh, the dotted interior. This is the ruled interior, if you prefer that. And lastly, I also have the square interior. So I really like this dotted interior and this is the one I'm going to download. So all you have to do is put in your name and follow your email address. And that's it. You're going to check your emails and here you go. Your free KDP template is here. All you got to do is click on this button, download it now. And here you are, you got the interior. And then all you do is you click on this little hour here and you download it. And that's literally all it takes. So you're done with step one and step two. And that was the hardest part. So literally now all we're going to do is bring the cover and interior together and now make you a publisher on Amazon KDP. Let's do it. Now, step three, we're going to publish your journal or notebook in less than 10 minutes. It's so easy. So first of all, you need to create an account with KDP. This is like super simple and you can use your Amazon account. However, I want to make sure, especially if you have an LLC in a business, don't use your personal Amazon account. Make sure that you use your Amazon business account, or if you don't have that, create an Amazon business account. So bookshelf, that's where you need to go. And that's where you have like all your books that are already published and approved here. But what we're going to do today is we're going to create a new one. So you click on create 
and we want to have a paperback. So create paperback. And then you see how it's like three simple steps. So the first piece is you're going to select English. If you um, are publishing this in a different country, then select your language here. But for the purpose of this video, this is going to be English. Then you will have a book title. So what I did in terms of my title here, as you can see, I have like a long, long title, right? And I also put the dimensions in there. You don't have to do that, right? So let's do motivational notebook. And then we note six by oops, nine. That's right. And that's it. Then you can also have a subtitle if you want to. I didn't really use it. I don't think it's necessary. In terms of serious, that is also something you don't need to worry about at all. Edition number, same thing. Don't need that. What you do need now is you need to put in who the author of this is, which is you. You're going to be the publisher. Put in your name. You have a middle name here. Uh, in Germany, it's not common to really have a middle name, so I don't have a middle name. And then that's it. Then uh, contributors, so if you're creating this with your co-founder or something, like just make sure that you add those here as well. And then you can add a description. So for the description, I would highly recommend keeping it very simple and just looking at other notebooks, how they did it. And you can see here for mine, I literally just have a high level summary. Again, my side hustle planner is way more detailed. It's not just a simple notebook, but here you can see, you know, kind of like the feature. So that is what you can put, for instance, in the description. So let's do this. You can just copy it here. And then we have 150 pages and that's it. Then very important because of IP issues, I own the copyright. Next up, keywords, my favorite part. So this is so cool. I will show you something really great. This side has literally changed the game for me. Answerthepublic.com. And all you do is you type in, for instance, notebook or journal, and then you select the state that you want to search in and the language. One of the things that I love so much about it is that it literally looks at what people or Googling and like what is trending. This is so, so cool. I can you not like, it's amazing. Like you see the search volume, you see the cost per click. It's insane. And so you can even see basically different types of what people actually search for. So you see journal prompts, for instance, right? You see journal for mental health or why journal in the morning. There are so many different ones. And what I think is really important about this one is the darker the color, the more people are searching for this. So I really like, for instance, the journal for mental health. Okay, so maybe that could be an option to name it. And again, like I would really, really encourage you to spend a lot of time on this. This is like one of the best tools and it has saved me so much time. Also figuring out, you know, what content to create. Definitely, definitely check it out. Journals to do list, right? Journals to my son. So there are so many different ways, journal to my daughter that you can use. And then you can go back to the keywords. And we had journal for mental health, gift for, what did we see? Daughter. So you, you get the, the point, but just fill out as many as you can, because this also, again, helps you rank with a search in Amazon. So make sure to fill all these out. First of all, this is a low content book. You need to really check that mark. And then in terms of categories, let's see, you need to like look a little bit through, like for instance, my side hustle planner I put under business economics general. And then what you could do too is I think there was, oh, body, mind, spirit. I think that's also a good one where you could put um, it into general. Let's leave it at that. And then adult content. Does this book contain language, situations, or images inappropriate? No. Okay, step one, done. Save and continue. Now, this is really key. I mean, for the journal or notebook, it doesn't really matter. You can do publish without an ISBN or use my own ISBN. Because for instance, for my side hustle planner, I wanted people to actually have a preview of what the content looks like. That's why I actually purchased an ISBN because otherwise 
Amazon doesn't really show you what the content looks like. Let me show you. When I go here, you see there is an image gallery, but that's it. There's nothing else. Whereas with this one, you see here, I have the look inside. So I can click on this and then you can see what the planner actually looks like inside the new year, yearly and quarterly goals, Monday, you know, like it's a planner. So it's very different content, but I just want to let you know, like if you ever even plan to like create something else, that's really what you got to do is to get an ISBN. But for the purposes of this video, you would just publish without an ISBN. And what that happens is that Amazon just gives you kind of like an Amazon ISBN. Actually, if you plan on selling your journal in a bookstore, you do have to get an ISBN. Bookstores don't really take any books without an ISBN. So just keep that in mind. We're going to do it without. And then publication date, I would just leave it empty. So it's the day when it goes live. And then here you have different paper options. The more you go down below, the more expensive it's going to be to print your book. It's also going to be, you know, higher quality, but again, then you will earn less. So just keep that in mind. Okay. So we have black and white interior with white paper. The trim size is six by nine and it is bleat. Okay. Now we're talking about the paperback cover finish. So here's what I would recommend. Whenever you have a dark color, you can see here, I would recommend using glossy. That's what I did for my black side hustle planner. However, I personally really think that the matte looks better and it also feels better. But the problem really is you need to really make sure that it is a lighter color. If you have an image, it works as well. But for black or anything dark, I would always go with glossy because otherwise you see like your fingerprints all the time and it just looks like really ugly after a while. Okay, now we're going to upload the manuscript. And the manuscript is literally the interior. We're uploading the dotted version right here that you downloaded. That's the one I sent you to your inbox. And then the next one is the cover. So you can also create a cover with Amazon, but I don't, I think it's better to create it with Canva. So upload a cover and this is really important PDF only. So we're uploading the cover right here. Um, also, if the size is too big, definitely make sure to go to, I think it's called small PDF. And that's where you can just drag and drop the PDF into, and it will reduce the file size because that was a problem that I definitely had before. Now the cover is uploaded and we want to get a preview. Takes a little bit of time and here we go. See, okay. You have the side of the planner here. You see now where the barcode comes in. You also see the red lines. And then you can just scroll through it and here you go. Oh, this is important. So the first one is going to be blank because it's basically the cover. And then you can see how you have all these cool dotted pages. Perfect. Okay, we're going to approve this. Okay, so finish our quality check. We're good to go. Now, here's the interesting part. So you can see here now how much it costs to actually print your journal. Okay, and this is literally the last step. This is the most interesting step because now we're going to determine how much we're going to get paid. Territories. First of all, uh, just all territories. Make sure to check that. Primary marketplace. I live in the US, so I will put Amazon.com. But if you live in the UK, you can put this or if you live in Germany, Amazon.de. And now the fun part starts. So now the question really is, okay, how am I going to price this, right? So if you price yours, for instance, for $6.95, it will calculate everything, how much of a royalty you get. And you immediately see that's actually not that much. That's why I think it's really important to think about how can you make your cover really special? So maybe if it's like really cool photography or you really put some effort in the design, because then let's say you get to $10.95, right? You already see that you're now making almost four dollars. So let's say, let's say you go to twelve ninety five, and that way you get almost five dollars. This is really cool. And one of the things too that I think is really helpful to see is it will also show you how much your book is going to be in different 
places. So really, really cool. Uh, you can always adjust this as well if you want to. And don't request the book proof, and I will tell you in a second why. You just click on publish your paper book. And you're done. Woo! You did it. Way to go. All you got to do is lean back and wait for approval. And then what happens is you will get an email as soon as the Amazon team reviews it and saying that it's basically published on Amazon. Here's what you got to do after your book got published. So there are three ways you can get your journal as a hard copy. You can either order proof copy, an author copy, or you just buy your journal on Amazon for the full price. Don't do that. <laughs> One of the things that I really like to do is order author copies. So you can select here, for instance, like how many you want, and then you select the marketplace. And then what it really does is it literally just adds your book to an Amazon cart, and then you can just check out as is. The only thing to be aware of, it takes a lot longer for the books to arrive because they're getting printed on demand. So just keep that in mind. The big elephant in the room is when do you get paid? Because customers can technically return the item, royalties are paid every month, approximately 60 days after the end of the month in which the sales was reported. So let's say the sale happened in January, you will get probably the first check in March. So it takes some time in the beginning until you see the money coming into your bank account, but then it's every month. Now we get to the most important part of this video where you learn how to maximize your profits. Yes, because that's where so many people go wrong. Here's a big secret and it's called double dipping. <laughs> and so many new as well as established publishers actually miss out on this amazing opportunity to maximize profits. If you're part of the Amazon affiliate program, you can actually create an Amazon affiliate link with your own journal. And you not only earn royalties, but also basically your affiliate commission. That is just wild. So if you even have a book, like make sure to show the Amazon affiliate in there because I mean, you're literally double dipping. You get royalties and you get affiliate revenue. Wild. Next, you want to promote your book and sell it. And reviews are key. So really make sure to get your community or your friends or your family to buy the journal and write a review. Reviews are so key on Amazon. Now, here's where the majority of people stop. And that's a huge mistake. You just showed that you can publish a book on Amazon KDP. That's a pretty valuable skill, right? Now that you know how to do it, guess what? You can go to Fiverr or Upwork and you just help others publish a journal and get paid for it. So when you're an entrepreneur, it's key to really think about how can you use the knowledge that you just gained actually to grow your business even further. So it's kind of like you're using the byproducts of your business to sell even more. Fun fact, if you look closely at Ikea furniture, we actually see that they use the compressed wood chips. So AKA the byproducts from producing furniture, they just turn it into more furniture. And one byproduct is always education and helping others get results that you already got. So you can just do this on the side and help others who are struggling with this. Win, win. Okay, now comes the major secret. Even though we just went through all of this hustle to get your book published and sold on Amazon, it's actually not the best way to sell your book. There's actually an even better way to sell your book that the most successful entrepreneurs use, such as Grant Cardone, Russell Brunson, Tony Robbins. And that method has helped me get an average car value of $40.87. Instead of earning just a royalty of, you know, a few bucks. That is when things get really, really interesting. And no one's really talking about this. Again, I only want to create the content that's helpful for you. So if you want to know how, let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure to create that video for you. As I mentioned before, publishing your journal on Amazon KDP is just the first domino in your passive income journey. So if you're working on a side hustle or working a full-time job and you're looking to create personal and financial freedom for yourself and your family, you need to make sure to check 
these videos out because they're gonna blow your mind. <laughs> they will not only save you so much time and money, but also a ton of embarrassment. By the way, when you get your first order of your own journal and you do the big unboxing, please tag me in your social posts. I like really want to celebrate with you. And I think it's just so cool to have your own physical product in your hands. So yeah, and it's like a big, huge step toward generating passive income. So please tag me.